Today we're going to talk about the problem of sin. Kyo wa atsumi to yu mondai ni tsuite And we're going to look at a passage in John chapter 8 that's commonly referred to as Christ and the woman taken in adultery. Yohane ni oru fukunsho hasho ni aru kasho o mite. Tsuru wa mo yoku kristo to kansu genbe de torareta onna to yu hanashi to natte imasu. Ni sets kara jui sets. And we'll look from uh, verse 2 to verse 11 of chapter 8. So please open your Bibles to John 8, and let's begin. Yohan yoru fukunsho hasho o hiraite mo hajime masho. Hasho ni sets. John 8, 2. Asa hayaku fututabi shinden no keidai ni hairare ruto. Min shuga mina. And this is Jesus, of course. At dawn, he appeared again in the temple courts, where all the people gathered around him, and he sat down to teach them. Now, notice here it says that all the people gathered around him, you know, to they wanted to hear Jesus' words, and they were probably hoping to see a miracle as well. Now, when I say everyone, though, that really doesn't mean that everyone liked Jesus. All of the regular day-to-day people love Jesus. But there were some people amongst the religious leaders who really didn't like Jesus. Now, one of the things we have to remember is that when we're looking at these Bible passages, we're talking about real people and real places. This is a historical story. This actually happened. So where are these temple courts? Well, if you went to Jerusalem today, you could see the Temple Mount with the uh, Islamic Dome of the Rock on top. Well, Gendai, Mo Jerusalem ni itara, Mo Kono Shinden no Oka. But if you went 2,000 years ago in the time of Jesus, it would look more like this. And here's a model of the uh, Jewish temple, as it would have appeared 2,000 years ago. So when it says that Jesus went to the temple courts, you can see the big wide areas there uh, where people could gather and they could talk and they could have teachings and things. Let's get back to John. Yohana ni modorimas. Hasho san sets kara yon sets made no tokoro. And we'll go back to John and we'll look at verses 8, 3, and 4 next. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. So koe dippo gakshatachi ya pharisai ha no hitabitu ga. So these are the people who don't like Jesus, right? This is the, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees. So what's going on here? Suzukimasu. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? Tokoro de. 
あなたはどうお考えになりますか Now they point to the law of Moses, which was written 1500 years before the time of Jesus, or from our time 3500 years ago. And it's the Old Testament law. So, And in that law of Moses, it commanded that a woman like this be stoned.、Uh, and they asked Jesus, Well, what does he say? Now, they point to the law of Moses, but are they really obeying the law? What did the law actually say? This is the law of Moses concerning this issue. Deuteronomy 22 22. If a man is found sleeping with another man's wife, Both the man who slept with her and the woman must die, you must purge the evil from Israel. Now, these religious leaders said that the woman was caught in the act. So, where is the man? If she was caught in the act, she wasn't alone. Where is the man that she was with? Shukyo shido shi tachi wa, mo onna ga ginba de torai rare te to imashita. Shikashi, sori nara aite no otoku wa doko desu ka? Ginba de datta ra, mo hitori ni ita waki wa nai desu ne? Sori no otoku wa doko desu ka? So they were not obeying the law. They brought only the woman, and apparently they ignored the man or let him go. So they onda daki tsurete kita, mo moze no ripo kare de jishin mo yabutte imasu ne, otoko hanase onda daki o mo tsurete kita no wa mo fuko desu. Dou shite de shou ka? Why? Because they're actually just trying to trap Jesus. And it's written in John 8 6. They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. So it was a trap. And they were using the woman and the law of Moses for their trap. They were using them like tools. They really didn't care about either one. Now, some people ask, well, what was Jesus writing on the ground? I don't know what Jesus was writing on the ground. It doesn't tell us, it's not recorded. But some people imagine maybe it's the names of the accusers and the sins they had committed. But we don't really know. So, how does the trap work? If Jesus said, let her go, He would break the law of Moses. But if he said kill her, he would break the law of the Roman Empire, which did not allow the Jews to carry out capital punishment. 
モーセの立法を破ることになるが、コロセと言ったらローマ帝国の法律を破ることになる。ユダヤ人が死刑を執行することを許すなかったから。Now to understand the situation, we have to remember the history. この状態を理解するにはもう歴史もちょっと思い出さないとわからないですね。There's the country of Israel, Israel という国があって、でもローマ帝国に征服されてしまいました。There's Israel, the country, but then it's invaded and conquered by the Roman Empire. So in Jesus' time, there were actually like two levels of government, we could almost say. イエスの時代にはもう二層の政府があったと言えるぐらいですね。まずそのイスラエルの人々はまだ政府を持って、その政府は宗教的な政府でしてね、その宗教指導者たちはそれをもうコントロールされていました。でも、ニッソその上はあのローマ帝国の法律とそのローマ帝国のルールを置いてがありました。So it's like two levels. There's the law of Israel or the Jewish law, and it's controlled by the religious authorities at that time, but over it is the Roman law. So they're trying to force Jesus to break either one law or the other law because there is no middle ground. So what happens next? 次はどうなりますか John 8 7, Yohanna Hasho Nanasets, this name. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, If any one of you is without sin, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Shashi Karira ga shitsukoku, toi tsuzukeru no de, Yesu wa miyo o koshite iwarita. Anata tachi no nake de, sumi o kashita koto no nai mono ga, mazu kono ono ni, ishi o nagi nesai. ね、Now Jesus has turned the tables. No one among them was going to claim that he had never sinned and that he was perfect and without sin. So now Jesus is giving them a very difficult question. What we see here is something that I think we still see very often today. And what I'm saying is, instead of answering their questions and accusations about the woman, Jesus made them reflect on their own sins. イエスは彼らの質問に答える代わりに自分たちの罪を反省させています。And I think Jesus still does this today. もう今日もイエスはよくこのようなことをなさると思います。It's very easy for us to point to others and say, What about that person's sin? and start asking questions about that person. とても簡単なことです。ある人を指さして、あの人の罪はどうだと聞くことは誰でもできます。多くの質問をかけることは簡単です。But Jesus says, don't accuse others, repent of your own sin. しかし、イエスは人を責めてはいけないと言われています。自分自身の罪を食えるためにさえとおっしゃっていますね。もう、ヨハネに戻ります。Let's get back to John in verse 8 and 9. Again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who heard began to go away one at a time, the older ones first, until only Jesus was left with the woman still standing there. So, she said, Mat that Mio Kagamete, Jimini Kaki Suzuke Rareta. Koryo Kita Mono wa Nin Chosha Kara Hajimate Hitori Mate Hitori to Tachi Sate Shimai. Now let's notice one thing. 
In contrast to her accusers who brought the woman out in public to accuse her, Jesus does everything he can to lessen her shame. He lowered himself before and did not even look at her until after her accusers had left. The accusers, the religious leaders, didn't care about the woman. But Jesus considers the woman to be very important. Verse 10, two sets. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? Yesu wa mio okoshite iwarita. Fujin yo, ano hito tachi wa doko ni iru no ka? Dare mo anata o tsumi ni sadame na katu no ka? Onna ga shuyo dare mo to yu to Yesu wa iwarita. Watashi mo anata o tsumi ni sadame nai. No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin. So we looked at the story here of Christ and the woman taken in adultery. But I actually think that this story is really about the sins of the Pharisees and the sins of scribes. What did they do? Well, they plotted to trap Jesus. And they took the woman to Jesus, but let the man go free. And in the end, they left in shame when they were reminded of their own sins. But this raises the question for us of what exactly is sin and why does it matter? Well, let's talk about that a little bit. What is sin? Well, sin is breaking God's law, not only with wrong actions, but also with bad attitudes and thoughts. So let's look at one example of Jesus' teaching about sin. Matthew 5:21 and 22. You have heard that it was said to the people long ago, do not murder and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. なたがとも聞いていると、みじだれている。but I tell you that anyone who is angry with his brother will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to his brother, Raka is answerable to the Sanhedrin. But anyone who says, you fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. Now, Jesus goes on and he gives more examples of this, showing how just the attitude of the heart and the words that we say can be great sins. Shiesu wa 
もうひどい罪になる場合があると説明されています。And he ends this section with Matthew 5 48. 最後にマタイ5章48節もお語りになりました。だからあなた方の天の父が完全であられるようにあなた方も完全なものとなりなさい。Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly father is perfect. That's God's standard. 神の基準です。Okay, well, that's really simple. Let's all just be perfect. So, it's a kantan desne. But, as such, mo mo kanzen ni natta ra mo yokate desne. But, we aren't very good at doing that. Demo umaku iki nai de shou. But, as such, wa sono mo chikara ga nai desu kare ne. And, what does it really mean? It could mean being perfect in different ways, right? そしてもう実はどの意味になりますかいろいろ可能性があります。完全になるというのはどういうことですか Well, I think more than anything, it's about becoming perfect in love, in how we care about God and others. 私の意見ですけれども、何よりもこれは神様に対しての愛と、もう兄弟姉妹に対しての愛について語っている。そのとこで完全になれと。言われていると思います。In 1 John 4:16 and 17, we find the following: God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in Him. 神は愛です。愛にとどまる人は神の中にとどまり、神もその人のうちにとどまってくれさいます。So God is love, and God's love is perfect. 神は愛であって、神の愛は完全です。But what's the next verse say? 次の聖句は何を語っていますか In this way, love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence of the day of judgment because in this world we are like him. こうして愛が私たちのうちに全うされているので、裁きの日に確信を持つことができます。この世で私たちもイエスの世であるからです。To become perfect. To have perfect love for God and others. 神に対しても人に対しても完全な愛を持つようになるのです。When our love is perfect, we will no longer sin, but we in ourselves have no power to make our love perfect. 私たちの愛が完全になるとき、もはや罪を犯しません。しかし私たちには愛を完璧、完全にする力はありませんね。So we can dream about having perfect love. Kanzanai o motsu koto o yume to tsuru desne. Like this boy, he's got his bow and arrow and he's dreaming of hitting that target. Kono kodomo no yo ni a yumi a o motte ano target o uchitai desne. Sora wa mo target ni chanto utsu yo ni naro to omoimasu. That's the dream, so do I yumi des. But the reality can be quite different. Demo ginji tsu wa chigate iru bai ga oi des ne. He's trying to hit the target, but he always falls short. Sono ko wa target o uchitai to omote demo naka naka deki nai des ne. Mato hazuri bakari ni narimas. So I use this example because this is actually where the Greek word for sin in the New Testament comes from. 私はこの例を使っているのは、実は、新約聖書の元の言葉、つまりグリッシュ語で、その罪に訳された言葉は、まとはずれという意味になっていますね。And in the original language, the word in the New Testament commonly translated as sin really means missing the mark. And it actually came from archery originally and then was adapted for this meaning of sin. この言葉は、グリシュ語の言葉は、もっともっと弓矢からのあことがあって、その的外れの意味を持っていて、その後は罪ということを指すこともなったんですね。So why do we miss the target? We miss because we have sinful hearts. 私たちの心はもう歪んでいるので、罪を犯してしまいます。そのターゲットにもう届くない。いつも的外れになりますね。So, you can imagine if your heart is not right, it's like you have bent arrows. 
これは心はおかしくなったことはもう別の言い方で曲がってやでターゲットを打つということとなりますね。If our arrows are bent, we can't hit the target. It just won't work. もう曲がってやでターゲットを打つことは無理ですね。Now, let's use a different example though. もう一つの例を考えましょう。罪ということはどういうことですかこれは、もう切ってもり、家族ですね。この人は、牧師であって、神学者であって、あの、東京神学大学の教授で、24年ぐらい前に亡くなられた方ですね。天に召された方ですけれども、とても大事なことをたくさん書き残しました。Let's look at the words of Kazo Kitamori. He was a pastor, a theologian, professor of Tokyo Union Theological Seminary. And he wrote a lot, and he wrote some good stuff. But let's look at one idea he had. He spoke of sin as being a betrayal of God's love. And of people who betrayed God's love actually are being like traitors. Kitamori Kazu wa tsumi to wa kami no ai ni tai suru uregiri de aru to katate imashite ne. そしてそれで罪を犯す者は裏切り者であると考えていましたね。もう彼の考え方でこれは日本人にとって分かりやすい罪の説明ですね。いかがでしょうか。So he thought this was a way of explaining sin that would be a lot easier for Japanese to understand. So what do you think?、Uh, can you see sin as a betrayal of God's love? 罪もう神の愛に対する裏切りであると考えたことがありますかとにかく、神の目には罪は深刻の問題です。In any case, in God's eyes, sin is a serious problem because sin separates us from God. 罪は私たちを神から引き離すからです。Let's look at Proverbs 29。神言二十章、uh, 九節見てみましょう。私の心を潔白にしたと誰が言えようか。罪から清めたと誰が言えようか。誰もできないですね。Who can say, I have kept my heart pure, I am clean and without sin? No one can say that because we all sin. 私たちも一人残らず罪を犯したことがあります。ローマ3章23節にあります。It tells us in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This is the bad news. We are all sinners and sin is a big problem. It's really bad news. But in the very next verse, we get good news. And are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. So, there's bad news for sinners. 悪い知らせがあって私たちは罪人であることです。But there's good news. God gives us grace and He provides for our salvation. 神様は愛を与えてくださり、私たちのもう救いの道を開いてくださったこと。それは本当に良い知らせですね。Now, how does that work? これはもうどういうことですかと聞くと、ヘブライビートへの手紙、重症14節を見ましょう。Let's look at Hebrews 10 14. Because by one sacrifice, he, that's Christ, has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. なぜなら、クリストは唯一の捧げ物によって、聖なる者とされて人たちを永遠に完全の者となさってからです。So, by a sacrifice, Jesus makes those who trust in him perfect. もう、この、捧げ物によって、シエスは、シエスを信頼する者たち、私たちを完璧、完全の者とされてくださいます。Well, how does that work? 
それはどういうことですか Well, let's go back and remember in the Old Testament era, right up to the time of Jesus, the Jewish people were very accustomed to offering、uh, animals as sacrifices as a covering for their sins. もう旧約聖書の時代ずっと、そして死エスの時代の時まで、もう古代イスラエルの人々は自分たちの罪を負うために動物を捧げることに慣れていました。And when Jesus came, John the Baptist looked at him and what did he say? She is a Korate to Tokini, Sendesha Yohana to Yujin Bitsu, and Nanio eat the show. Yohana Isho Niju Q sets. John 1 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So no Yokojitsu Yohana wa Jibun no Hoe, Yesga Korate no O, Mite Ita. Mio. 世の罪を取り除く神の子羊だ。What's John saying? ヨハネは何を語っていますか He's saying that just like those offerings of animals, Jesus will be offered as a sacrifice for our sins, that we might be free of our sin and saved. ヨハネは語っているのは、あの動物は捧げられたようにシエスも捧げられることがあって、それは私たちの罪の許しへいるための生きにえであるんですね。それは私たちは許されて、罪から解放されるのです。つまり、ヨハネは十字架のことを語っています。And what precisely John is saying, Jesus is going to the cross. Now, unlike the animals, Jesus chose to give his life as a sacrifice. 動物と違って、シエスはご自分自身から自分の身を捧げようとしていらっしゃいました。私たちを愛してくださったので、私たちの罪の許しを得るために自分を犠牲とされたのです。Because he loved us, Jesus gave himself as the offering for the forgiveness of sins. He sacrificed himself for us. And Then we see, これで私たちはもうローマ中小十三節の約束を理解ができます。And then we can understand the promise in Romans 10 13. Everyone who calls the name of the Lord will be saved. 主の名を呼び求める者は誰でも救われる。This is very good news. とっても良い知らせです。When we call on the name of Jesus and we trust in Him for our salvation, He comes and He cleanses us and He makes us perfect in God's eyes so that we might be saved. Let's pray and I'll pray in Japanese this time. あなたは愛のお方であります。創造主であって私たちに命を与えてくださったお方です。私たちはいつも罪を犯してしまいます。あなたから離れてしまうことがあります。しかしあなたは私たちを見捨てず、その代わりに愛してくださいます。私たちの救いのための道を開いてくださいました。どうか私たち一人一人が目を開いてシエスを見てそのお方を信じるように導いてください。恵みを注いで一人一人がシエスとの反対の出会いができるようにシエスと共に歩むことができますように精霊も与えてくださいます。私たちは罪人です。罪を告白しています。お許しください。助けてください。導いてください。この世の中、曲がって矢のように、私たちはまっすぐ飛ぶことは絶対できないです。でも、あなたの導きをいただきつつ歩んでいます。いつもその導きを与えください。私たちに。だけじゃなくて、終わりの兄弟姉妹
私たちの家族、親戚、隣人にもこの愛を注いでください。この導きをお与えください。シスと共に歩むことができるように。悲しんでいる人々に新しい喜びを、苦しんでいる人々にもう癒しを与えください。シスの尊い皆によって感謝し、お祈りいたします。アーメン。